How's it going everybody? I hope you're having a good day today. Today we're going to design a mold in Fusion 360 and we're going to 3D print it and hand inject it to make a little trout fishing lure. And after this video is done, you guys will be able to download this for free and make it yourselves. So this is going to be pretty easy. We're going to be making something for these little 64th ounce jig heads I picked up. It's going to be like a little micro paddle tail and we're going to make the tail super thin so it's got a lot of kick on it. So I already have the dimensions I want written down, so we're going to get right into it by making a sketch and drawing a cylinder. And I wanted this to be 0.3 and extrude it out to 0.75, and this is going to form the main body. So this is our main body here, but I want to taper that down a bit. So we're going to do that by creating an offset plane and using the loft tool to connect it to another circle. So we're going to be able to adjust this later, but we're just going to put it somewhere it looks pretty good. I think that's good enough. We're going to create another sketch there and just draw a circle in the center of this one. We want it a little thinner, not too thin, but we can play with that a bit. Now we're going to create our loft and connect these two. And this is going to taper it down a bit. I want to move this out a little bit. So we can drag it back and forth to get it just where we want it. So I want it about, I think that looks good. We're also going to fillet these edges down to make this rounder and look like an actual lure body. That's good for the front. The back's going to be a bit sharper. That looks good to me. So now we're going to create another sketch and we're going to draw out the tail. So I want this to be touching this part. So we're just going to go out here. The top's going to be pretty flat, but for the bottom, we're going to make it kind of curved. We're just going to drag this till that looks good. Pretty much what I'm going for. So we're just going to close this off now. All right, we're going to do a symmetric extrude on this for uh, 0 0.025. I want this thing super thin, so the tail's got a lot of kick on it. We're also going to um, uh, fillet these edges down again to make it more round. All right, so now the tail section's done, but we got to do the actual, I don't know what you call it, I guess fin on the back of it. The other part of the tail, by creating another sketch right on the back of that. And we're going to make this like an oval, so or, you know, ellipsy, the math term. So that took me a little while to get right, but that's our tail now. So we're going to extrude this out. Again, super thin. Now I know this doesn't look thin, it looks pretty thick, but you got to remember this bait is tiny. It's good. Got to extrude this part too. All right, now we're going to do some more filleting to make this bait even and look like an actual lure. So that's our lure so far. Um, you can just leave it like this, but I think this is going to look a little bit better with some ribs on it. So I'm going to do that. So I added all these little ribs in. Hopefully that gives it a better look. I think it does. Let me hide that so you can see it better. Adding ribs is uh, boring and a pain in the butt, so I just skipped that part. It's really tedious. So this is our finished lure. Now I'm just going to make a mold box around it, and I'll see you guys when that part's done. So everything's done now. Now to print these yourself, you just have to download the model for free online. And you want to put this flat side down in the print bed for the slicer. Now I'm going to use ABS to print this, but you guys can use PETG or PLA+. Plus. You just got to be a little more careful with the temperature so you don't melt anything. The only settings I changed is I added the uh, wall line count to 7 and the top count to 7 as well. And this is going to put a thicker piece of plastic on top of the mold so it's not as easy to melt. I'm printing this in a 0.12 layer height. If you want more or less detail, you guys can change that too. But now we're going to print and inject this. Alrighty, this mold came out just fine. Not really much to talk about. So we're going to grease it up with some Pam. Sorry about the noise of the printer in the background. That's working on the next video. And we're going to shoot this with a couple different colors. We're going to start off with this dark pinkish thing from the last video. And see how that works and move on to a couple other colors. So I'll see you guys when we're ready to inject. Right, we're right on the money for injection temperature. So we're going to slowly draw this into our injector. We're going to make sure to burp it upside down and let all the air out. And then we're going to inject our mold. It doesn't take much, so we're going to hold it there for like 15-ish seconds. You know, it's an 8-cavity mold, but these things are tiny, so it really doesn't take much plastic. And that should be good. Now we're going to fill up our sprue hole, and then that's it. So I will see you guys when this is done cooling off in like 10 minutes. Okay, so this should be more than cooled off enough now, so we're going to crack it open. Not too bad. I'm going to clean up the flashing and shoot this a couple more times. Alrighty. So I shot this uh, 
two more times a different color. So I got a whole little baggie of green, blue, and pink uh, little paddle tails now. I'm just rigging them with these 132nd ounce ball jigs. I mean, you guys can use any jig you want. This is what I designed it for, though. And this is how they look on the jig. Uh, it's going to be hard to see because they're so small. But that tail's nice and uh, super loose. This is a green color. My only gripe is the ribs didn't come out just how I wanted them. They're a little small, but it should still catch fish either way. That's it for this. We're going to test these out in the river for some trout in a later video. If you guys have any suggestions on what I should make next, uh, feel free to leave that in the comments. I have a bunch of other molds I made if you want to check those out. I'm working on some hard baits soon. Thanks for watching.